Yeah, yeah, your voice is very sexy, huh? Oh. These guys have stolen around 1.2 million dollars from innocent. Mother two tackle. Namaskar dosto, it's your boy Lucky Sam. Welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, we are going to be reacting to destroying an entire scam core center. Let's see how this video goes. Guys, in three, two, one, let's go. What is this? Automatic series on here. You have for mother for either is I have for. Guys, I've been a victim of, you know, this scam thing. I was scammed with a PS5 when PS5 came. He created a fake other card and pan card. You know, these scammers, they, you know, think ahead. So I went to the police and then show them the other card and the pan card that this guy, you know, scammed me, he fraud me. So they went into it and then they noticed the ID cards are fake. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this dude scammed me. I was really not moved because I was surprised. Like, why will he do that? Anyway, let's go into it. <laughs> if you have been watching my channel for a while, you would have probably seen this video in which I got scammers very scared after they realized that me and my team are watching their operation live through their own CCTV cameras. Look at him, bro. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's blocking For the, the people camera. that missed that video, a quick rundown of my history with these scammers. I actually made two videos about this call center. In the first one, I talked about how their scam worked, how I ruined their business for a couple of weeks, and I confronted them live on their own cameras. In the second video, I showed off a new Amazon campaign that they were testing. And whilst I was making that second video, one of the agents in this call center from my first one told the boss about me, and they then decided to take their cameras down. After completely getting rid of their CCTV security <laughs> system and being out of business for about a month, these guys returned to scamming with that same successful Amazon campaign. Thank you for reaching Amazon. How can I help you today? Just to make sure that they oh, didn't sell their computers to another call center, very coincidentally running the same exact scam, I started matching the current voices behind the computers to the voices from about nine months ago. I didn't yeah, know my friend this scam is this scam has really worked so hard like this. It's like a paid full time job. Just look at that. It's a legit office. They are working hard to scam people. This is insane. <laughs> oh, Kato, wow. You know him? Yeah, yeah. Your voice is very sexy, huh? Oh. And how old are you? I'm 23. Ever been to India? Oh, it's a very damn good place. Thank you for reaching Amazon. How can I help you today? Yes, there is order for an iPhone that is costing you a thousand dollars. So after making two videos about these scammers showcasing them literally insane. pretending to be from the United States government and Amazon, capturing every single part of their scam live on CCTV, they are somehow still in business running the same scam in the same Ooh. office with the same people. Those two videos exposing this call center have over 15 million views combined. So how come they haven't been arrested? Well, the short answer to that question is Kolkata. The police over there simply refuse to listen to any reports coming in about scammers, oh. as their city is the epicenter of fraudulent call centers, having so many scam offices that it is impossible to get rid of them, so the police don't even try. On top of this, most scam bosses have good relationships with important people in the police force, yeah, and yeah, a lot of the time, yeah, police yeah. bribes on you their know, payroll. Guys, um, I'm sorry for cutting in between, but you know, most fraud businesses that you know take place the bosses they make sure the friend they are good with the district police officers the higher rank people so at the end of everything they just give the person a, a cut you know that's what they they normally do i'm the boss tell me what happened i am running this center for more than five years nothing happened mainly you can't you you are you are useless I'm sure the useless Kolkata. <laughs> He's he was running that business for five years, so it means he has a good relationship with authorities in Kolkata. Yeah. Police have seen those wow. two videos. Even a scammer from a different call center, very nearby to this one, reached out to me to useless. let me know that they admired my work <laughs> and had stopped scamming because of my videos. This same person told me that the call center was located in Siliguri, West Bengal, specifically in the Weibo IT park, which has already been highlighted for as many scam call centers by another YouTuber called Rock. Weibo IT park here in Siliguri. West Bengal. This IT pack has so many scam postings in different rooms on different floors. It's a real hub 
The scam calls it this here in West Bengal. Wow. After these scammers turned their cameras around to stop me from spying on them, I was able to see the outside of their building for a couple of days. In those days, I started analyzing the outside view, zoomed into this object, looked at the shadow, took into Ooh. consideration that the screenshot was taken at 10 in the morning, and then knew Whoa. that the camera was pointed towards nice the south due to the sun's wow. position at this time. Furthermore, looking at pictures from other companies that are also situated in the Weibo IT park, I could tell that the carpets from my old videos matched with those of the office pictures on Google Maps. So ah. if the camera is pointed towards the south and capturing this little park, that means that the scammers they're building has to be to the north of it, which is this wow, building right nice here. On the same Google Maps you know, page for the IP it. park, I found a clear picture of this northern building, which brings us very close to our call center. The only question that now remains is what exact window this fraudulent, hidden, multi-million dollar operation is working behind. Let's have a look. If we compare the height of the CCTV camera's view to the street light right here, we appear to be slightly above it. And this leads me to believe that this scam call center is located in one of the office spaces on the first floor of this northern Weibo building. Looking at that same pole and this box right here, we appear to be a lot closer, oh. almost directly parallel to the pole, which means that these scammers are working from the office behind the third middle window. We can also conclude this based on the amount of plants nice. we are away from the street light. Nice. So this is the nice. building and the office nice. where our scammers come in every day for six days a week except for the 51st and 52nd week of 2021 and the first two weeks of 2022 because they got very spooked after watching my videos in the week before. They stopped working for about a month but did end up coming back after resetting all of their computers. Luckily I had installed permanent back doors everywhere, managed to spread back yeah. to some computers and got into- They got security men in the front gate. This is insane. Like I said earlier on, I think, yeah, they have, you know, connections with a higher authority. Nobody can touch them. But there is a proverb that say, every day for the thief, one day for the master. Yeah. <laughs> to their phone system fairly quickly, forever. which meant that I was now again able to actively monitor their calls and thus prevent them from scamming people. $2,400. Yes, that's a big amount, sir. They were the hackers, sir. Right now, you are talking with one of the employees of Amazon, sir. I'm afraid you give me numbers. I really am. Just enter down manually. Do not read out any kind of numbers. This is a scam. Oh, you Please want my do numbers. not continue. This is a scam. Please do not continue. Son of a... Bitch. Son of a bitch. You, did you hear that? Vera. Yeah. All this about phone call? I said I'm afraid to give them my numbers. And then somebody came on the phone and said do not give them the numbers. This is a fraud. This is a scam. Hello? Hey, this is a scam. Hello? Yes, sir. I, I was the person that was warning you about the scam. Those guys are scammers from India. They're trying to steal your credit card information, okay? I was warning you yes. through the phone. So if they call you back, just ignore their calls. You can call your bank and call the real Amazon. They will tell you the same thing. It's a scam, okay? In the nine months that these guys have been back to scamming from their small break, mm -hmm. I did not have the chance to monitor them too often as I was working on the demise of other call centers. And whilst working on those other projects, I always noticed that these guys were online and probably stealing a lot of money from people. Yeah, what is a, a lot? lot? Well, these scammers usually defraud their victims for around $1,500 per person with an average amount of four successful scams a day, six days a week, which means that in those nine months, these guys have stolen around $1.2 million from innocent people. Oh my God. What? In nine months? Nine good months? Oh, jeez. These guys are making real money. All because Woo! the Kolkata police did not feel like taking any action. Most of that money has been stolen through payment apps on the victim's smartphone so quickly that they barely have any time to get suspicious Woo! once they have fallen for the initial part of the scam. Yes, you there, sir? I'm still here. Yeah, where okay, am I going? Sir. All right, sir. All right. Just be on the line, okay? I'm if here. I... <laughs> okay, sir. If I need Your any help, I'll mad. just let you know, He's... okay? Am I giving my credit card out to the whole country? No, sir. Guys, what are we doing now? He's now, sir, out. I'm gonna. We are gonna report all of those charges, sir, that has been made by those hackers. All right, all right. Let's just do this and, and finish, finish it. it. I don't want to be talking to you all day. All right. All right, sir. Okay, sir. What? Now we have already canceled those second charges. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, sir, what I want you to do is, I want you to get back to regular home screen, sir. Wait a minute. I just got a thing that says it says credit card. Exceeds alert limit, you said, $350.20. Yes, 
Where? Remit Fly CF-36. What the hell is that? Yes, sir, because we have cancelled those charges, sir. <laughs> In this specific call, the scammers used Western Union, but they used dozens of different apps, such as Afreaks, Cash App, Remitly, oh. Sophie, World oh. Remit, and oh. even domestic wire transfers. Oh. They find their victims by blasting out about 250,000 calls a day, successfully scamming an average of four people out of this. this so what happens hard. to the other 249,990 six colors well something like this yeah please amazon how can i help you today well i didn't order an iphone this is insane the reason why i'm saying this is this guy have a good accent like good english accent i don't know if they go to school for this or they train them like separately for this like the accent is crazy okay no wonder i fell into this but mine was a ps5 this is insane. But I do want your mother to suck my dick. Oh, go ahead and ask your daughter. After, after I, after oh, fucking old, fucking old dirty. Fucking old dirty. This is Amazon. Your ID says Hanson. Dipshit. Call. Yeah, call. Freak it uh, so, out. Yeah, if you could just tell me how to go fuck yourself, that'd be uh, great. Go fuck your daughter. <laughs> now I don't have an Amazon account. You sucking dick. No. I don't have an Amazon card. Hello. I call my house. Hello. Fuck you. Go ahead, fucking mother. Ass. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you order me an iPhone or what? So, I want your daughter. I fuck your daughter and your wife, oh. and we make. <laughs> Wait, let me go back. This is so hilarious. <laughs> fuck you. Go ahead, fucking mother. Ass. Hey, how you doing? You order me an iPhone or? What? I think you ordered me. He said you ordered me um, an iPhone or what? what? Uh, I want your daughter. He said I want your daughter. <laughs> I f*** your daughter. <laughs> Just look at that. I don't want to say that F word. I don't want any problem with you two. <laughs> so you can see it is down there. Daughter and your wife oh. and we make sexy time movie. We make oh, a bunch of money. Your, your you daughter's job is very nice to your make video. I put that as a gift for your mother for giving me blowjobs. All right. Oh my God. Go get yourself a gun and shoot yourself. <laughs> These guys clearly only target American <laughs> citizens, which for them in India why. is a night shift. But they also have a United Kingdom day shift in which other agents, funnily enough, offer anti-scam phone upgrades. I'm calling you from the National Court of Law. There's a whole bunch of call centers like this that don't really scam people since they aren't stealing any money, but they do sell this data to other scam call centers. This video was taken by an insider in a different scam office just, where they also collect people's this, data just by this time pretending this. to be from their washing machine's warranty. Spend so much for this. Just see the number of computers there. This is a legit. Look at. Oh my god. The information that these guys Just collect will this. be bundled up in huge spreadsheets files and is then sold to a bunch of fraudulent call centers so that they can then use this information to convince their victims that they work for a big company like Amazon. Hi, Mrs. Carlisley. Carlisle. Carlisle. And what's your first name, Luis? Yeah, that's right, Lois. You live in Colorado? Yes, I do, and I do not have an, an Amazon co account, and we'll never have one. Where is Richard? He is like six foot underground. I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> not only do they get information like this from other call centers, they can wow. clearly also find your information in public so databases by putting in your name and city. They buy your information from other you know, scam, you know, center. So according to scam um, beta, he's saying that there's another operation that they don't steal the money, but they get information from the victims and then they sell that, you know, data to the court, the scam centers. So that is a legit business. Like it's a business. You, you saw the number of computers and, you know, they spend so much for internet maintenance they spend so much for everything. This is insane, guys. This is insane. E phone number or email. You now might be wondering if your information is also publicly available on these web pages. 
Well, one thing is certain, your personal information is definitely stored in the databases of hundreds of data brokers. And these data brokers are the people that will sell your information to web pages like the ones the scammers use to look you up, but also to a bunch of other third party companies, which could result in you receiving these never ending spam calls, emails and text messages. Luckily, there's a solution. Incogni is the sponsor of today's video and is here to prevent your information from becoming available to scammers and hackers. It is not very convenient for an individual like me or you you to contact a bunch of data brokers in the hopes that a few of them might have and will delete your information. And that's exactly why Incogni is here. They will reach out to a bunch of data brokers on your behalf to make them remove your information as they are legally obliged to do so once they get a removal request. Even though you might think you have not given out any information to anyone, you most probably have by simply owning a credit card, being yeah. part of a grocery store loyalty program, yeah, or having true. a social it's media true. account with the likes of TikTok TikTok and Facebook. It's Once true. Incogni finds a broker that does in it's fact true, have your information, they we will legally force them to get rid of your details and you will we then receive that. emails like these confirming that your data has been permanently deleted. And the first 100 people from this video to use code SCAMBAITER at the link below will get 20% off of Incogni. Please make sure you protect your privacy today by going to incogni.com yeah, slash SCAMBAITER and use code SCAMBAITER guys. to it's take your personal important. data off the market. Unfortunately, not everyone is signed up with Incogni, so all the people that do end up in the scammers that call list and fall for the scam give me some saving work to do. This could be interrupting a scam that is about to go down successfully, but I also like to prevent calls from taking place at all. Thank you for calling Amazon. You're speaking to James. I may help you. I don't have anything to do with your company. I'm yeah, no, ma'am. Um, this uh, call is actually coming from a scam call center in India. Um, this is not actually Amazon. They're just pretending to be from Amazon. They're trying to steal your money, and I intercepted the call to let you know that it's a scam, okay? Oh, well, thank God. I, I Because they, they've been just driving me crazy. I, yeah. I'm so you can glad you can, that I got to speak to you. It thank sounds you like very an old much woman. Of course, it is impossible for me to take all of those 250,000 calls a day. It is better to change the scammers their voicemail. This call is coming from a scam call center in Kolkata, India, pretending to be from Amazon. If you ever get any emails or calls from people pretending to be from a big company, please do not entertain. Feel free to press 1 to talk to a scammer and please ruin their day for me by cussing them out. Again, please press 1 to ruin a scammer's day. This way, I warn 250,000 people a day about scams that are going around and also heavily demotivate the scammers by now sending through only callers with malicious intent. Thank you Okay. Um, huh? That's supposed to ruin your day. I was told to call you and tell you, go f your father and suck his dick, asshole. Go fuck your boyfriend, You're a scammer? You're a scammer? No, I'm your daughter's boyfriend. You're a scammer? I am your daughter's You're boyfriend. You're a scammer? Look at all these calls going out, bro. All these people are getting warned. All these people are getting warned. Scams. You call me, you fucking asshole scamming piece of shit, motherfucker. You and the fam family oh, are going to die for sure tonight. You are going to die. Since the Pukata police do not want to take any action, I guess I myself am going to have to destroy these scammers, their infrastructure, a little bit more. We have already seen the voicemail. Another way to destroy this call center's income is by completely wiping their computers. And so I think it is now time to do so. And don't go oh, you oh, he's going to wipe their computers. Rodney. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> yes sir it's working the computer is not starting up and they're looking up the virus you should have told me earlier then you should have told me earlier why did you waste my time then I don't know why you waste my time. Okay, then I'm gonna authorize that order. Idiot. Absolutely not, because then it's gonna be stopped. What, what bank account would you take? What oh. bank account? That's your checking He's account. Off everything. He's everything. Mother truth hacker. Fuck you hacker. Motherfucker, I say the hacker. Suck my cock hacker, motherfucker. Oh no, this is Fuck too you, much. Hacker.
Hey, yo, yo, this is too much. <laughs> and now let's show it's these so cameras bad. their own CCTV cameras. <laughs> oh, what I can do is, sir, uh, I can discuss about it with my billing team and we'll get back to you. We are very sorry that uh, so much money has been taken out of your account and right now I'm not, I will not be the best person who can uh, help you shop it out. Oh, what is yeah. this? Automatic sales. Huh? Yeah. Huh? She's surprised. She's going crazy. Uh, After no. having some fun with individually destroying a few of these scammers, it was time for mass destruction. I first wiped these scammers their phone system, which resulted in all of them getting kicked off and not being able to take calls anymore. After this, I ran some malware on the remaining computers, which will make their computer shut down by itself. And once they started back up, they will be greeted by this newly styled desktop page. After destroying pretty much all of their infrastructure, these guys have been vacant for a couple of days. If this means that they will be out of business again for another four weeks, I would have stopped innocent people from losing about yeah, yeah. $140,000. Unfortunately, this is the most that I could do as the police still does not want to respond to me. I at least hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to like and subscribe. I have a Patreon and PayPal yeah. link in the description for yeah. if you want to buy me a coffee. Thank you to Incogni for making this video possible. And I hope yeah. that you guys have a yeah. nice day. Stay safe. Have stay a nice cautious. day too, bro. Bye -bye. You're doing a great job. You know, there are so many people in the world that, you know, they're innocent and they don't know what is going on in this world, especially the older people, grandpas and the grandmoms, and then parents that um, are not really into technology. They really fall for this. So we need to educate people when it comes to this kind of activities. We need to protect ourselves. Even me, I, I fell into it, you know, I was scammed big time. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to remember the conversation that we had. I was going crazy at that moment. I was scammed. I was scammed. <laughs> Yo, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I want to give this video a thumbs up. If you like this kind of scamming reaction videos, just let me know in the comment section. And yeah, other than that, it's been me, your boy, Lucky Sam. And here about peace.